Okay guys, here we are. We made it to Siena in Tuscany. We just arrived and um, we are gonna tour the city with a good friend of mine, the manager of Andrea Bocelli, an opera singer. We're gonna go through a couple of places. He's gonna explain us this amazing city with so much history, but now we're gonna go to eat some pasta at La Caverna del Capitano and we're gonna have a lot of fun and a lot of cool moments in Siena. Uh, Purple Living is putting their print in Siena, Tuscany. Look at this. Plaza Duomo and Siena, this medieval fortress city here in the heart of Tuscany. After uh, Florence, it's Siena, the biggest city, and it's just breathtaking. I heard that in Siena, this tower, they made it as tall as the church, so to indicate that the politics, the government, and the religion, they have the same power. And that's one of the signs. What about TikToker? No TikToker. <laughs> they call me a TikToker. It's like pickpocket, TikToker, same thing. Nobody. Religious figure called Salusto Bandini. And I don't know what he did, but he looks guilty. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. This is like a huge restaurant, Siena. And there is more restaurant, Ricardo's words are more restaurant than people here. So one thing for sure, vamos a comer. This is La Bottega del Tartufo, the truffle. And they are giving free samples. Let's go. Mmm, oh. it smells like truffle as soon as you get into the door. What a, is that real? It smells like truffle, guys. Are you kidding me? This is free tasting? Come here. Come here, Gina. This, this is the lunch, by the way. This is a black one. Salsa nera con tartuccine. Mm. Mm. It's free. This is what they put in the sandwich, and I love it. This is Siena, free tasting of Truffle, only in my channel. Oh, look at these windows. I would be trapped in a palace like that with a lot of food. Ahead of time. He was literally ahead of time. I just arrived to Siena and my heart is gonna explode. Let's continue exploring and the ammo. Madre mia, mamma mia. My neck is gonna get stuck like this, guys, because it's just so beautiful. It's the same style architecture than this Duomo in uh, Florence, do you remember? Yes. But different. The Duomo in Siena, guys, really, right now, is playing with my emotions in a psychotic way. One of the most beautiful buildings I've ever seen in my life. Taverna Capitano. We're going to Taverna Capitano and they are waiting for us. Ricardo, so right? It's a really blessing and that's how people are here. And he is the manager of Andrea Bocelli. One of the managers. I think you know Andrea Bocelli. And then he lives here in Siena. Ah, ben arrivati, Valeria. Yes, yes. Ben arrivata. I like it. I like the vibe. I like it. Approved. Let's eat and drink. La pasta classica di Siena sono i pici. Handmade pasta with a seasonal oil that is from April to May. E c'è pomodoro e basilico. Parpadeo with jare o tagliatelle with Florentina ragù. What should I have? Wow, it's fantastic. The first and the second oil. But ragù is okay, right? One picture, one ragù. Let's do Florentina ragù. Mangiare presto. Okay, grazie. Grazie a voi. So this is amazing. We are in a history. So much history here. 1908 they started their restaurant but in fact this place is right in front of the castle of the guardian the people who protected the city and everything has their horses here had the horses in the 1500 this only happened in my child no. attack, attack mode attack mode this is just like beautiful mm. 
the typical pasta from Siena and it's called Pichi. Why is different from other pasta? It's medium size, but also it's thick. So you really feel the pasta. Mm. That's completely different than I thought I was going to taste. Mm. I've had a bunch of pomodoro sauce before. And they're all kind of like the same variation, but this is a totally different branch of it. I wonder what kind of spices and herbs they put to make it that different. Mm. That nice. garlic that we saw yesterday, remember? It's yes, a garlic. This is like ramen. It's like ramen. Uh, ramen, yeah, ramen, yeah. Ramen yeah. noodles. Don't forget, guys, that pasta comes from Asia. There's mm -hmm. somebody who went to Asia from Europe, an Italian, and made the version of noodles in Italy and made it better. This restaurant is called La Taverna del Capitano, where Ricardo sent us. Thank you very much. It's so. Such a pleasure. What, what's, what's, what's with the competition? Uh, it's, a, uh, it's like a competition between uh, four restaurants in each city selected. All Italy. Uh, in each city they select four restaurants mm -hmm. and they, they try to do their best to become the first one. So you won, and they got. you won. You yeah, won they the won prize. the, the which, prize. Which yeah, prize? The, uh, it's uh, this uh, television. Uh, you won the prize? Uh, yeah. Television, <laughs> yes. And For which pasta? Which food? The pappardelle alla lettre. Pappardelle alla lettre. Rabbit uh, pasta. Uh, see, uh, white rabbit. White, white rabbit, rabbit. sorry. Rabbit. So they won <laughs> national. They won the They know, uh, two years ago? Yeah, almost, yeah, something like that. Two years ago, they won a competition for the rabbit parparelli here. Mm -hmm. I should have known that. That's the, that's the, the rabbit. Yes. The one that she had. You know what it means that in Italia, to win anything about for Siena, for the city of Siena. Super Siena. Yeah, for Siena sure. is so many restaurants. Yeah, you a lot. So many restaurants and good food. So I ask him because he's just love his land. And he travels around the world. This is not a typical Italian. He's a manager, he moves around the world, he speaks like three, four languages. Why Siena? Humble, humble life. Humble things is, are the most, most important in the life. Oh so you can God. travel all around the world. I, I can never find my friends. I can never find my food, my life, my neighborhood. And then, I, for sure, it's a little city. Sometimes I need to move. Yes. But when I come back, I feel at home. It's a like, safe place, oh a nice place, a, a strong relationship. So we came here. I was like, oh, Ricardo. <laughs> Ricardo, everybody knows you. And then when you are in one place and people know you, either you know you for good or for bad. I like Ricardo has a good reputation here. Yeah, good reputation. Yeah. So approved. Thank you. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. This is so yes. good, guys. This is ravioli no, with ricotta. Ric ravioli with ricotta. And look what, but we will make a parenthesis here. Come he got a, a bigger portion than us. Go on, bello, eh? So he must be important. The pichi? The garlic with a special garlic, aglione. It's a special, huge garlic we have in the uh, south of the uh, area. Okay. And he, he dressed him because he won, his neighborhood won the last race of a horse. When he win, you are the king of the, the city. Okay, let's get into this real deal, guys. It has some cheese, and it's typical. You know, in Argentina, we eat this. It's ravioli with the ricotta and uh, um, some uh, spinach, spinach and cheese on top and tomato. So let's go. Wow. The ricotta is like a cream, first of all. But then the tomato is so, it's different than the tomato from Sicilia. Look inside. So this is like kind of, I grew up eating ravioli, but this I never had. This is the best version I've ever had of ravioli with ricotta. Let's hear my plate in Siena. Mm. You say like Italy was playing with uh, Argentina, and a lot of Napolitanos, instead of being uh, rooting for Italy, were rooting for Argentina because of Maradona. And because of all the history, the north of Italy, I hated the Napolitans. Then what happened after that game? Because that game changed the Mia, world. Mia was crying. I don't know. I was, uh, Mia, because I support Italy. Italia 
lost. Lost at the semi-final in a penalty. Yes, and then it seems like the mafia got against Maradona and he has to leave the country soon. No, mafia, the mafia, Maradona, uh, all the clan of mafia in Naples wanted Maradona close with them. So they started to give him a loss of the pain. Because of his connection with mafia, he had to leave Italy. So that's uh, the real story. Netflix story got it wrong. This is the real story from an Italian that knows Maradona. I love him so much. I cannot compare it with Messi, but the proof is like Argentinians are not like Messi or with Maradona. We are different. Right? Messi is a completely father, too good to be true. And Maradona is a bad boy. I like exactly. the bad boy. No spoon, no, no fork. La mano. Ah, me exactly. encanta. Así exactly. me gusta. Pane gelato e torroncino. ¿Y cómo lo llama? Kiss of Siena. Kiss of Siena, guys. Bacio di Siena. Oh, con la mano, ¿entendiste? Oh, oh, oh lo que tenemos en Argentina nice con dulce de leche. That's an ice cream. It's a nice cream. It's a kind of volcano. No, 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 don't say what it is. Just bite that thing. Uh, oh, everybody copy that. Oh, yeah, I just got that note. Mmm. Oh, that's a perfect crunch. Mmm. Oh, it goes perfectly with the ice cream. It's mm. almond. It's some sort of nut. Oh, it's so delicious. It's simple. Mm. And I like that there's not too much chocolate. It's just the outer layer. Yeah. Inside is just soft ice cream. Mmm. Mmm. The ice cream is very light. Then you start with the chocolate, you get in that interest, like that cloudy um, uh, milk, and then you end with the note of crusty uh, almond or nuts. It's very simple and very delicious. Very good though. <laughs> very good. I love Bacio di Siena. Many people want to copy that. You know the Mars? The, the frozen Mars, one of my favorite, is a copy of that. Yeah. Amazing. Really good. Thank you to bring us to Taberna del Capitano. It's more than I expected. Salute. Extremely close. They are like cuisine. Pepe, primo, primo. Casi primo. primo. Casi primo. Oh, primo. Oh, and she's the star. Grazie mille. Grazie. Ciao, grazie. Ciao, Valeria. Ciao. 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 La taberna, guys, del capitano. I like when the menu is not so big, when it's like very reduced because it means that it's fresh. Oh, okay. This city in the Middle Age was very powerful. It was a big enemy of Florence. And oh, the they big, were enemies. Yeah, we fought for 400 years, then they won because they were supported by the church. That's why the towers... Yeah, yeah, the same. Siena is the only place where the major square in Italy, one of the only places in Italy where the major square is not a church, but is the council house. Oh, okay. And the, the big problem for Siena was that uh, while Florence had a river, Arno, Siena didn't have a river. So the Siena well, people... Siena doesn't have river. So uh, Siena's people were looking for water for all the history. And definitely they created the, an uh, uh, underground city uh -huh. for the, to collect the water. What? Yes. Underground but, uh, city? Yeah, it's like uh, the same size of the city, uh, full of tunnel to, uh, to collect water. Mm -hmm. So there we have uh, each neighborhood, historical neighborhood, uh -huh. has uh, uh, springs coming from, uh, uh, from, from the underground. Did you hear that? Yeah. So you discovered that. And we knew The that. people from Siena got the water from the yeah. under, and each neighborhood has Look. their own underwater source, right? Look. No way. No way. Every so this has... is like water from a manantial? From the star, from the underground. From grounds. the bottom, wow. clean water. Clean water. Very tasteful place, you know? You can see here, you want to make a dive, but it's there. Very relaxing. Oh, the water. It's clean, huh? Clean. These stairs, like, look at this. This is like 1,000 years. You see, when you see bricks like that, it means uh, that it's after 13th centuries. Okay. Bricks. Before 13th century, we didn't have bricks. Now I can show you some place mm. where you can all have bricks. And they, they have stones. Little stones are before 13th century. Big stones, 1,000 years ago. This is too much. Do I owe you something? I'm not. This is... <laughs> <laughs> Don't give me the bill at the end, the Italian way. No, 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 no. See? This stone, the big one, are from Roman Empire. Wow. 2,000 years ago and more. It's like one. 
to three and a half. You know, up, you can see gray stones. It's before 13th century. This is tremendous, the Roman Empire. These are the Central. Wave neighborhood. Which one? Wave. Wave. Dol Dolphin. Okay, so he grew up here. I remind you guys. Yeah, can I you show us more. a little bit, Tim? No, this is not my neighborhood, but I grew up here for sure. What is the rival neighborhood? A wolf. But I cannot bring you there. I, can, I cannot go there. I cannot go there. I cannot bring you there. If you want to make a big fight, we go. Oh, but so if they see me with him, He's a very little attack. guy. You are a tiny girl, so it's better we don't go anywhere. Because my father hated them. My grandfather hated them. I hate them. Like Romeo and Juliet. Story. It's like Romeo and Juliet. Yes, yeah, something like that. And this it, is so <laughs> funny. This is... This is Market Square. Uh-huh. This is my restaurant. Oh, you have a restaurant. Yeah. Oh, so he knows about food. He knows, like, what he ordered? The peachy with tomato, simple. Oh, and this is your motorbike? Oh. Tell me yes for the show. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, this is my motorbike. Have a look. Perfect. Wow, wow, thank you so much. Dude. Hello. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, my motto. Yes, it's like, how, that's how you raise the city, and yeah. the world was like, ah! But this is like the tower of the parliament. This right? is the back of the, the, the no, the parliament, the whole council house. This is the market? This is where the market happens? It was the old market. Uh, uh -huh. ever, in the past, every day they used to stay here to sell stuff. And now it's a more traditional event that we used to do on the, on the Sunday, mm -hmm. just to remember about the market. Now there is a big market in another place. Anyway, this is Piazza del Mercato. I belong to the market. I love when you go to a city in the world. I live in Asia, I live in Africa. Tomorrow we have I go to the market. Tomorrow we have a There is where you meet the real people. The farmers are the real people. In the market, you find the most authenticity in a city. So, yeah, I love it. Tomorrow we go to the market. Tomorrow is market day. Oh, I'm staying. I'm staying tonight. You can buy lots of stuff. Huh? We are going to uh, ghetto, Jewish uh, neighborhood. It's a very little one. And uh, this is uh, the Siena's ghetto. Wow. And, uh, I'm from we, the ghetto. It's a very old style synagogue because it's a hidden into the palace. Hi, how Ciao are you? Hello. Certo. Ciao, buonasera. This is Siena's synagogue. A synagogue in a so Christian country. This is bold. In the south of Italy, you don't have this because it was forbidden for many centuries in, in Tuscany. And north of Italy was allowed to be Jewish, but they had many problems. Huh? They were killed, all those But things. they went through things yeah. and they built their place of uh, praise. But and from outside, you cannot see there is a, is a synagogue. You can, you, it looks no, like a normal building. it looks building. like a, a door of a bar. So this was renovated in 1785, but it's been since the 16th century the synagogue has been happening. So. It's unbelievable. I congratulate them because they are strong and they don't take a no for an answer. Like mama. This is majestic. This is a big city. How many inhabitants you have uh, in Siena? Ah, 60,000. And it's like kind of impossible. It's, but in the Middle Ages, it was 60,000 as well. So it, it was very huge for the, the time. Wow. Now many people live outside of the city. At that, at that time, all the people lived inside. So it was so big like Mila, like Florence, one of the 10 biggest cities in the Middle Age. And now what is the relationship with uh, Florence? Yeah, you know, if there is magic like football, we owe the... each other, but then, okay. <laughs> so this is my bar. Is your bar Manganelli? Manganelli bar. Friends uh, bar. <laughs> this is so invaluable, guys. This is Siena, this is Italy. This is how life happens here. Io parlo napoletano. Io parlo napoletano. Italiano e egiziano. Io parlo napoletano. Italiano e egiziano. Io parlo napoletano. Italiano e egiziano. Altro. Dice, io parlo italiano e io parlo napoletano. Io sono napoletano. Scusa, ma cos'è? Maradona, can we speak Maradona? Sì, Maradona. Ma cosa sta facendo? È che l'unico lugar nel mondo, the only place in the world we love Argentinians, is Napoli. It's like they adore us. Everybody else? Again, in this paradise, in la Piazza del Duomo in Siena, 
we were not expecting to have so much fun. People are so alive. People love tourists. They love it. Like the not, not the economy of Siena is based in tourism. But they are not like you know. There's sometimes a love and hate love story with the tourists. No, here we are part. I don't consider myself a tourist, but I'm part of the familia of Siena and I can't stop appreciating. The, Every... the, more, the most important place in the city is the square, Piazza del Campo. Here, right here. In right this here. square, since around 1,000 here, there is a race of horses. Uh, each uh, uh, horse and the joker represents one neighborhood. Over 17 neighborhoods, only 10 neighborhoods can attend to the Palio. And then many, the most important, is uh, for sure a win, but the most important is not al allowed to win to the, our enemy neighborhood. The enemy neighborhood cannot win. The, a neighborhood, a horse can win without joker. If the joker fall down a, and the, the horse arrive alone, like this here. And the joker is the guy who is at top. Yeah. Yes. If he fall down, the horse go. If he win, he win. win. Without the joker, like an autopilot, a Tesla, won. The horses are so beautiful. The long legs, did you see that? Oh, no, no, no. this is crazy. Look, it's too, oh, oh, oh. And the horse stood up. And this one, the little one, alone. And this is the enemy neighborhood, try to win, look. Boom. No, because the good ones, they always win. You see, and you won. And look, and look at the people here, look at the people. <laughs> what do we For got? us, it's the most important thing. Uh, Okay, what Church. do we got here? This is a cantuccini with Vinsanto. Uh -huh. This is a, a sweet uh, uh, wine. And uh, you can you, you have to do like that. I show you. Ah. You push and uh, you eat. Mm. Then you do like that. Salute. It's the neighborhood that won the horse race. I don't know, you like that neighborhood or not? No. Do you have enemies there? No. <laughs> Do you have enemies? Yeah, we don't like I don't want to pay the consequences, yeah, we guys. We don't like each other. But anyway, if you find this video, I, I, I can go. I can go. Uh, so I have nothing to do. This one. When I went to the cathedral, the cathedral is the most beautiful I ever seen. Yeah. Inside, inside. You see the pink? You had to think. I had the door of the sky. You can go. And the roof. 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 It's a full of stars, it's amazing. I don't, don't tell me, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go because uh, it's the most beautiful oh, one. That's a beautiful view. Oh my God. This is like all moments after all moments. I, nobody spoke to me about Siena, like it's so beautiful. By the way, the cathedral that like he's talking about, I've lived in France for many years and I know Europe and Spain. But that cathedral is like, it's gothic. It's gothic. It's the, the, the pink story, gothic. Uh, the, the, the story of the cathedral is very sad because the, it must be four times bigger. But the, the past, past, the epidemic started in uh, 1348 and destroyed almost the city. So they stopped the construction of the cathedral. In 1348, 13, 1348, killed, and then he killed half of the population. They couldn't finish. Killed half the population. Why pink? I've never seen in my entire life around the world a pink choice for the, the cathedral. Because we have lots of marble. And marble has different colors. You know, Italy is the capital of the marble, marble of Carrara. So you have a lots of a big quantity of marble at that time. Everything is marble. Very often they got this marble from their uh, old uh, Roman ruins. Mm -hmm. They reuse it. Look at this. We made it. It's just amazing, guys. This city definitely took my heart. We're gonna stay two nights here because it's too much, and I cannot wait you to eat with me and drink with me and spend some time in this amazing medieval city. Siena, ladies and gentlemen, only in my channel. You hear those sounds of las campanas? It means it's time to go mangiare la pasta. Let's go to eat here in Siena. It's unbelievable. The energy of the city is so vibrant. How did nobody tell me about this place? It's just unique and so much fun. So let's go to eat. Mangiare pronto presto. Mira, guys, this little snack in, Fabrizio di Pizza. It's in his neighborhood. This guy's with onion. 
is hot. Mm. Go on, huh? Oh my god. This is so good. Mira. Lonion. Ooh, no, I cannot eat just a little bit of this. Let's mm. see how it is, guys. This is Dahlia. This is how you have to eat. I didn't understand, but people eat like something like this during the day and then a good restaurant at night. Mmm. Snack. So good. Dangerous. Solid. Really solid. Mmm. Mm. The onion is perfection. It's just really good, guys. This is like so affordable and so good. This is our last bite. Tomato, local sausage, cheese. Mira, I like, see how, how thin it is? In the middle is there even a hole. This is the simplicity of life. That's what I come to Italia. Mm. Oh, wow. And it's so different to others. Oh, wow. Ricardo insisted we came here and I'm gonna find out why. The vibe is just beautiful. Couldn't be more Italian, right? And it's this place where the locals come. Um, Ricardo grew up here. We, we come from his house like a few blocks away. And I cannot wait for my first Bistec Fiorentina. And they say the best one is in Siena because the cows live here. So let's find out. A mangiare presto. But the other one is a really full body. It's a brunello. I like a brunello. I like a brunello. With the aperitivo, with the antipasti, you can go with the brunello. You always have to go with the brunello. Did you hear what he said? You have to always go up with the wine. You start like with the antipasti, you get a light wine, and then when the bistecca, the comida más heavy, the wine gets to the next level. So I love to learn. Come on, we like bigger. Yes. Salute, grazie mille. This is a secret, a secret place, only locals know, and we are here purple living, dressed in purple tonight. Purple rain, purple rain. This is not arranged. He came out like this is like a very special, and um, thank you very much for your time. And because they're bringing me to places that they love, and they are from here, born and raised Sienes. People. Sienes? Sienesi. Sienesi people. Sienesi. So couldn't be happier, guys. Keep tuned. It's gonna be lit. How long has been this restaurant? One generation? 1977. And where where the bisteca is gonna come from? The bisteca, the, the production we use is near Sateano, where they keep the the cows. Oh that's it out. That's the Vitello Tonato Gourmet way. There's tongue of the cow. This is gonna be amazing. <laughs> Pomodoro simple fish. Wow. I wanna attack this. Attack is nice. Attack. I wanna attack. <laughs> this is how you do it. This is a pear, right? Or it's a... It's a fico. Fico, fico with what? Fico with the aubergine. Aubergine. Melanzane. This. It's gonna make me fly. It's very seasonal food. No, it's, it's a no. really seasonal food. Some wow. Meat. Smoky uh, aubergine. Simple. There is no much condiment. Balsamic, melanzane, and uh, some very seasonal figs. Very fresh. But I wanna get this. This is it, Italy and France. <laughs> Mira, 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 tío, mira, 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 esto, esto es increíble, esto es increíble, esto, esto para la vida. Au, au, au. I'm just gonna get one. Bueno. Let's try. Wow. Tanti soldi guadagni. Oh my god. This is that probably the best fish I ever eaten in my life. It's a cream of parmigiano. The tomatoes are the sweetest tomato I ever eaten and the quiche is very French. It's like a very French Italian version of quiche. This is unbelievable. From the garden. They have a garden the garden. The tomato is sweet. It tastes like a quiche, but it has the the taste of Italian. 
This looks perfectly cooked, also a little bit charred. The liver and some potatoes. I cannot need the meat, guys. I cannot need the meat. I gotta tell you, this is authentic Fiorentina from a very hand-picked farm from Siena to the world. Let's oh, it's a corta solo, by the way. Mira, <laughs> zoom when uh, when the Jew is entering their heart. This is so much better than the first time that I arrived to Florence and I went to the best Yelp or whatever. And they gave me something that doesn't resemble to this. I fell in tourist trap, guys, sometimes. Just to come here tonight, this is amazing. You have to eat this. This is meat to a next level. You can cut it like a butter. Look. Easy. In Argentina, we do this. Come Bravo, Raul. I've tried it, eh, Raul. Ah, anche se gli altri dà anche un pezzo a te, non si può lasciare i steak. Only in my channel. Thank you very Grazie. much. That was incredible. Thank you. Grazie. Osteria Le Lodge, guys. It's amazing. Michelin, guys, since 2020. It's, uh, just look at it. The, the, the design is just, look at this. No pictures, please. Leave me alone, paparazzi. <laughs> Oh my God, I just can't describe my feelings right now. Just like, look around. What a time of my life in Siena. This place has magic with a palette unique. The church was one of the most beautiful jewels I ever seen. So Siena, it's in my heart and I'm not going away. I'm coming back to this amazing city of God, Siena.